Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Micah Newsom. For those who don't know me, uh, I'm a member of 7K Metals. What I plan on doing on this page is not just talking about silver and gold and the benefit of collecting, but really positioning yourself uh, in all your endeavors to be in a wherever it is that you're trying to be. But if you're trying to increase your value and uh, your worth and your wealth, uh, hopefully I have a bit of tips. So I'm gonna be talking to you from real life, real time, tell you about my good decisions, my bad decisions, but ultimately what put me in a position to purchase my new home. It was a compilation of everything. Cur fixing my credit score, increasing your salary wherever you're at, uh, starting investing, using your investments to pay off high interest debt. Now, it took longer to fix my credit. It took years to mess it up, and it took years to fix it. But once I got on that track, I was just... Uh, discipline, and that's probably going to be the main word of the day, staying disciplined. There's no quick fix. Everybody's looking for a quick fix for you. I want to show you how to do it, and especially my young brothers, you know, just getting started. If you have the stick to itness and the discipline, give anything 10 years. You, everybody wants it overnight, but I'm going to tell you, if you, whatever field that you're in, uh, give it 10 years and hopefully you'll have the experience to start to demand the type of money that you uh, want to put you where you need to be. So one of the tools is multiple streams of income. I would say three to four streams of income, um, residual income. So when you get ready to retire, you have money still coming in. Uh, if that's dividend stocks or whatever. Now, I'm not a stock broker. I'm just going to tell you what I did. Uh, every, if, there's a lot of people that have better methods and doing a lot better, but I'm going to tell you my story. So when I got out of high school, I had the opportunity to go to college. My parents put money aside, but I knew I was not ready to do four more years of school. I was like, now I was a better than average uh, but I didn't have, uh, I didn't want to do any more school. I was schooled out. Um, so I decided to go into the Marines. And I knew that if I had went to college and messed my dad's money up, I would have never heard that. So I, I'd rather start my path at that time. So before, he didn't even know that I signed up in the Marines um, while I was still in school. Uh, my 11th or 12th grade so signed up for early enlistment. And by the time he knew it was too late, but he was, at first he was disappointed, but when he realized he had some money, he went and bought a car from my mom. So he was like, hey, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I understand you will make your parent do your thing. So I went to the Marines. It was the best time and the worst time that I had. It's, I can tell you some stories and in the future, I probably will tell you some stories. There was some good times with the camaraderie with the guys, and then there was some uh, not so good times sleeping in the mud, almost uh, drowning in Amtrak off, Kore off the Korean Ocean, almost going under, um, being in a uh, helicopter that almost that had malfunction, almost went down, doing a maneuver in California called CACS, where you do live fire with the Air Force, the Army, Marines, and you have uh, close fire overhead, and they had to actually cancel everything because uh, the rounds were dropping too close. So in the in the future, I'll give you some, some of the stories when I was in the Marines, some of them pretty interesting. Uh, and from there, I went in, I got out the Marines in 87, and I went straight in the roof. And when I got in the roof, in the, my thought was, man, I can't wait till I get out of here and find my real career. 33 years later, I'm still here. Now, I tried other things along the way, but once you, once I learned to respect the industry, I, I can't find a better industry that rewards me more than anything else that I did. And I would tell anybody that you can take whatever field you're in. You could be a fry cook at McDonald's. If you start to respect it, you can make the money. All you have to do is change your mindset. Uh, 
Somebody at McDonald's is making six figures. Somebody at McDonald's is making high five figures. You just have to put your eye on that person and what role they are, what position they have, and what their skill set. So if you don't have it, you need to learn that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about how to increase your value at whatever position and job that you're at. And ultimately you may have to make a lateral move to make a significant jump because a lot of times when you're working at a company and you get a raise is small increments. Uh, so as a young man, you probably, you wanna get the knowledge where you're at, but then you wanna leverage that at a similar uh, job at a different company. We'll talk about that. Um, early, right now, you want to start investing as early as possible. Yeah, you can have a 401k at your company, but you want your own personal uh, portfolio and you want to diversify. Now, again, I'm not a stock professional, but I do trade. I don't do the uh, day trading. I do buy value stocks, grow stocks, dividend stocks, ETFs. Um, these are companies that I believe in five or 10 years they're going to be worth more than they are today. And well, I would say it's a good uh, bet to start today, yesterday, uh, before you would have to buy a whole share. They didn't have fractional shares where you can buy as little as a dollar. Now they have fractional share on Cash App, on uh, Stash, on Robinhood. Now you can go in there with, if you just have 50 bucks, put 50 bucks on something. And however, that company performs, you'll, if they say they perform 5% today, you'll make 5% on your 50 bucks. I was able to pay my credit off $9,000 in one, in two weeks with the investments that I did. Um, then I found, now, let me not jump ahead. Along the way, I, got into a lot, I, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. When I was a teenager, I was cutting grass, washing cars. I was always out there hustling, but I, I wasn't doing the illegal hustle. I was trying to hustle and, and make some money. Um, my dad like, when you get your first car, you gonna pay for it. I didn't get my first car until I was in the Marines and I paid for it. Um, so a lot of people that have that entrepreneurial spirit, they're looking for um, support from your family. Well, what happens is friends and family, they see all your uh, endeavors and companies and investments that you get in, the ones that pan out, the ones that don't. So they're leery to just say, hey, I'm doing it because of you, because they want to make sure that you're successful with what you're doing. So before you go to your family and friendly and friends and family, it's good to do it, be successful with what you're doing, and come to them. Now you can go to them, but there's a high percentage you can say, well, let me see what happens with you. They may not put it in words. They may say, hey, I don't, I don't have it right now. I can't afford to do it right now. Um, but uh, really it's, hey, I saw when you was doing that last uh, network marketing and it didn't do that. And so I'm gonna hold on to my little money until <laughs> I see that you're, um, doing something more successful. So don't get discouraged if if you're doing network marketing and you go to your friends and family and they, and they don't jump or follow you right away. Just win, be successful. If it's what you believe in, stick to it. Uh, and because I've been with different companies like uh, wholesale furniture, mortgages, um, T, I've been in a lot of different things and got my license and in life insurance. That goes in taking care of your family. You know, um, but I would say everybody, you need to get life insurance if you have a family, even if, it, if you're by yourself. You don't want to, something happen to you and your family is now trying to put a GoFundMe page. And a lot of black people, we don't like talking about insurance and getting a plot why you're living because you don't like talking about death. But the time to talk about it is when you're, you're young and it's cheap and you can get the highest value for the lowest amount. So long story short, started off with a great credit score when I was in the Marines and then uh, gotten a couple of relationships and bought cars and 
cars were upside, the payments were upside down and breaking up and your credit score gets jacked up and it's really difficult to recover. So you have to know how, what moves your credit, like your utilization score, your um, payment history. See, those are big percentage items that if it affects your credit score drastically one way or the other. So the when you go there and you find out on your credit where you have negative or derogatory marks and you work on those, the largest, like your utilization, I think maybe like 30%. So your utilization is how much of your credit are you using? So say you have $10,000 worth of credit cards and you're using, you use 5,000, that's 50%. But you're, it's considered maxed out at 30%. So, which means if you have 10,000, 3,000, your cars are actually considered maxed out. So knowing how to manage your, your credit will help you drastically in how to pay it off when you have multiple cars. Once I put in my mind to, hey, I'm gonna get into this game because for so long I tell people, look, you gotta get in the game. The game is just uh, investing, setting your retirement in place, your get your life insurance. Life insurance is if you die early. Your investment is if you live long. So they're not the same. If you die tomorrow, you want to have, I'm married, so you, I want to make sure my wife just don't have to go to the kids and say, hey, can you help me bury your father? Can I live with you? No, I want to make sure she's taken care of. That's the responsibility of a man, of a husband. That's that's what I believe. Um, but it's also my responsibility to make sure if we live, have a long life, that I'm not, I don't want to be a greeter at Walmart. I'm not taking anything away from the job. But I don't want to do it. I'm working and busting my ass behind <laughs> doing roofing for over 32 years. I'm not trying to get back out there. So I'm trying to prepare and position myself so when it's time to retire, we can travel if we just want to chill. Whatever you want to do, you know, I want to be in a position to do that. And that's another thing when you, everybody's living and retired, but you've got to prepare and find stuff for you to do retire because I'm used to working every day, getting up five something every day, going to work. A lot of people, when they retire, it's like, what do I do now? So you want to plan just like you're planning for your retirement. You got to plan what you're going to do when you retire. So I'm positioning myself now and putting things in place that I can do. I'm an artist. I do uh, maybe another video. I'll show you some of my art. I'm a musician. I play the saxophone. I invest. I collect gold and silver. So I'm in my house. I finally we went to closing on the 4th. I uh, really didn't tell anybody because I didn't want to tell somebody and then something happens and it's like, mm, okay, you know, you don't, you ever heard the term, don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing? Well, I wanted to make sure that we not only uh, closed, but we got the keys. After I got the keys, I'm like, okay, I can let people know that we're, we got the house and we're still in the process of fixing it. We still got some boxes, so I'm not going to show you everything now. Um, but I'll show you the process or the progress as we go. Uh, I think it's unique because it's, we get to, it's a clean slate and we get to do it how we want to do. It's ownership. So the other thing is how to leverage your equity in your house. I would tell people, get started. Don't wait and make it happen. So to coin the phrase, get in the game. If any of this information I gave you was helpful, I would say like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the top.